Hi, this is Kathleen Wells with the Progressive Voices Network, and I'm sitting here with the Not Men, that's spelled with a K and two T's, and we're going to discuss, or we are discussing, the California Endowments Schools Not Prisons Initiative. Uh, when I say the Not Men, I'm talking about Wally Jr., Wally the Third, and Kyle, and I'm excited. In fact, I've known Wally since I was a teenager. These are his two sons. I thought they would be perfect to discuss this issue because his sons went to college. They graduated. In fact, one of them graduated from my alma mater, uh, UC Berkeley. I'm excited to have them here. So Wally, yes. give me your thoughts about why you endorse, why you think the California Endowment Schools Not Prisons is a good thing. Thank you, Kathleen. First off, but the California Endowment and Dr. Ross and the Progressive Voices Network, uh, we need initiatives like this because actually having grown up in South Central myself in a gang neighborhood, obviously, I have friends who were in and out of trouble all the time. And one thing I definitely noticed in going to college, college was the most, not only was it the most fun time I've ever had, but it was the most fulfilling time I've ever had. You grow into adulthood. And on top of that, you learn a lot and you get to rub shoulders with a lot of really like-minded, progressive, intelligent people. My favorite part about college was just going to class. I didn't really much care for homework, but just going to class and I always like listening to my professors and just wondering like, wow, how did you get so smart? Do you just read a lot or rubbing shoulders with other smart people so the college experience is something i wouldn't trade for the world everybody needs to go to college i don't care what college you go to go to college because college is when you like i said you mature into adulthood you learn how to be professional you learn what it really takes to be successful and going to prison i mean these are two completely polar opposite experiences prison is the worst place you can go college is the best place you can go and having grown up around so many people who didn't go to college, but then having acquired so many college friends in college, I can definitely say there's a major difference in the quality of life. You, being the dad, being in his, being in his life, was very instrumental in keeping him on the straight and narrow path. You know, how he knew that it was important to get an education, he, despite growing up in South Central, and you influenced his life. Talk to me about that, Wally. What was easy for me to influence his life because, first of all, I was obligated and made a personal vow to myself and to my sons that I would always be there for him no matter what. I would see this from beginning to the end. I wasn't just going to be a dad, but I was going to be a father. I wasn't going to be just a baby's daddy. So me also having grown up in South Central as well, um, I was able to uh, accomplish some things, become somewhat successful, while at the same time in my formative years when I was coming up, um, I also kind of straddled the fence. Um, I grew up in a single parent home uh, for the most part. My mom stressed that I go to college. And so it was always, always in my mind that I would be going to college and that I would... Uh, increase my uh, opportunities, opportunities yeah. and involvement by going to college. The way I escaped was uh, basically through luck, uh, the grace of God, and the fact that I did have some educational background and I knew that it was totally wrong, but I did dabble in that arena. I had a lot of associations with people that were doing things that weren't so great. Ah, uh, now we're going to go to Kyle. He's the youngest not not men, and he's going to tell us why the California endowments, why he thinks the California endowments, schools, not prisons, is a good thing. Kyle, prison is a prisons are our business, so there's money to be made from steering kids to prisons and not to education. Education is really your way out of that, and um, you know a lot of people kind of fall into it. It's a cycle because you start off with. If you start off with low resources, then um, prison is pretty much where they want you to go. So schools, not prisons, is um, absolutely a, the the best path for us. So you grew up in, you know, you guys all grew up. All the not men grew up in South Central Los Angeles. Yes. So tell me, how were you able to escape the trajectory, escape the trend? At least this is what the mainstream media tells us, that there's a trend for young black men to end up behind bars. How were you able to escape that? Well, it starts at home. 
you know, a lot of the people who you see, um, you know, doing wayward activities and ending up in prison are people who didn't have uh, a parent to say, hey, you know, that's not cool. Don't go there. Don't hang out with those guys. I don't want to see you, you know, associating with X, Y, and Z because, you know, it, it starts off with, it starts off on a seemingly innocent level with, you know, just that one friend and then it ends up or it can end up all the way in prison. So it, it starts off at home. I, Kyle Knott, support the California Endowment. School's not prisons. Prisons doesn't lead you anywhere. School does. Hi, I'm Wallace Knott, and I support the California Endowment Schools Not Prisons Initiative. I, Wallace Knott III, support the California Endowment Schools Not Prisons Initiative. 